Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Tyler. Have you ever been in a situation to where you have cut someone off and then after you have done that, that it seems as if there was a person or some folks who have found out about what you have done and then they came and approached you and probably saying things such as this. Who in the hell do you think you are? In the position of God now, you are the cold-hearted and the evil-hearted one. You are the one who is extremely out of line and out of order. You didn't have no right to cut that person off in silence. You was the one who was extremely immature. Out of all of these sayings of what that person came and probably said to you, it looks as if that you are the bad one rather than the person who you cut off in silence. Ain't that totally amazing? But I want to give a word of encouragement to all of those who have cut someone off in silence in order to protect your mental and emotional state and just as well as your, your peace. To keep yourself from being stressed out so that it won't possibly land you in the hospital or probably in the grave that ignore all of these naysayers such as these brainwashed Christians who sit here and think well you didn't have a right to cut that person off who in the world do you think you are in the position of God and all of those who have the mentality that you ain't supposed to never cut someone off and you know the reason why I said don't be bothered with these folks is simply because they ain't spent one damn minute up into your shoes of what you had to go through. They ain't been in your shoes of how deeply scarred that you was. They ain't been in your shoes of how much you had to endure so that you had to do what you had to do in order to cut that person off in silence so that your emotional and mental state can be protected so you wouldn't be no longer stressed out. And these naysayers ain't going to never understand it. And they never will understand it. Because their mindset is, you're in the position of God now. Or, you ain't supposed to never cut someone off. That person is supposed to constantly do you wrong over and over and over and over and over again. That's their mindset. And for all of those naysayers, such as the brainwashed Christians who think this way and just along with those folks who think you ain't supposed to never cut someone off. You sitting up there telling someone that you know that you are out of line and out of order. And how dare you sit here and say that that person doesn't have a right to cut someone off and you ain't spent one goddamn inch up in their shoes at all. So how dare you? You don't know what that person had to go through. You don't know what that person had to endure. You don't know how much that person was scarred in that particular situation so that that person could keep themselves from being stressed out. You don't know that. So who is you to point the finger at them? And let me justify my case that if someone has done you wrong and probably more on more than one account and then you had came and had a talk with that person and then after having the talk with that person in order to make that person aware of what he or she is doing and so that things could be made right and then not only that to Make that person aware of how much it is hurting you mentally, how much that is hurting you emotionally, and how much that is stressing you out. Out of all of that talking, it goes through one ear through another ear of that person. And then, after when the talk has been said and done, that person doesn't even want to change at all and want to continue Doing the same old wrongdoing to you just as before. Now, 
My question is to you is. You think that that person. You think that. You don't have a right to cut someone off in that particular situation. After having a talk. You is crazy. You is extremely crazy. Because there is so much. That you can take in a particular situation. So much that you can take in a particular situation. For you to sit here and say that. Well you ain't supposed to cut that person off. It's like saying okay. Go on ahead and keep on going through that same goddamn situation. Keep on being stressed out until you possibly land in the hospital or possibly land in the grave. That's what all of you naysayers are goddamn saying. And then you want to sit here and say, let the Lord take care of that situation. And sometimes in most situations, the Lord or God might be telling your ass to cut that person off in silence to, so that it can keep you from being stressed out. This is how brainwashed that you are. Not that person who had to do what they had to do to cut that person off in silence so that they can protect their mental and emotional strength from keep from being constantly stressed out. Not them. And for all of you naysayers who are brainwashed Christians who have this mindset and all of you people who have this mindset that want to sit here and out and want to condemn someone who done cut someone off in silence and then think that some of these folks owe a particular person an explanation at all. They don't owe them no goddamn explanation. And I understand why they don't owe them no goddamn explanation. You don't understand in this world there are some people that's not going to sit there and put up with that bullshit. They're not going to sit up there and put up with that bullshit. And you know why? It's simply because they're protecting their mental and emotional state. They already see the hell of what's supposed to get ready to come. But all of you naysayers who are brainwashed Christians and all of you have the mentality you ain't supposed to cut it off, you see it as narcissism. So all of those who see it as narcissism, you can keep on going through the bullshit of someone else and keep on constantly taking it. If you want to. If you want to be that goddamn stupid. And so, you want to sit there and condone those who don't. Who ain't going to put up with it. And there are some people in this world. Who are not going to put up with the mess. Right then and there. Because they already see it. From a mile away. And they like. No I got to protect my mental and emotional state. So I will not be stressed out at all costs. And I'm not giving that particular person. My energy. Let me go on ahead and cut this video short. Because I'm already interested in seeing what the comment section is going to be like. It ain't going to be no different probably from the last video. From all of these brainwashed Christians. Who sit there and said that. That ain't the way of God or whatever and everything. Okay then you ain't read 1 Samuel 15th and 16th chapter then. Let me go on and cut this video off. All of you have a great and awesome day.